Oh my god! <laughs> so weird! That is wild! Okay, here it is. Here is the goodie. So as you can tell by the title and thumbnail, it has arrived. Apple Vision Pro. I just want to disclaim, it has been out for the best part of three months now, four months maybe, of course in America. And um, I have my unit here now, um, which I'm gonna open. I categorically am not keeping this. I'm just saying that this is three and a half thousand pound worth of tech. You know, it's not something that you can easily fund without properly, well, either having the funds or being a businessman. But here it is, here's the box, and we're gonna lift it up. Oh my God, oh my God. I gotta say though, I am super excited to try this out. This is like, you know, back in the day, obviously we had the Apple Watch um, 2015. Now here we are with some new tech. And this tech is very futuristic. Massive disclaimer though, I wanted to uh, you know say that, like I'm not buying this, this is, basically bought it yeah i need to, i can't afford to buy it so i basically bought it and you know i want a refund of course so yeah massive disclaimer there so this is the 256 gigabyte version of the vision pro but there it is um and i'm really looking forward to it it's a new bit of tech it's something new um that we haven't had from apple in years to be honest it always feels like apple just the updates are just meh you know so this is something new something different and I'm looking forward to it. I know I'm gonna probably want to keep this thing, but um, what I can say is I think everybody will have this tech in some form in the future, whether or not I have it now, which is not the case, but I will ex get to experience this again. So here it is, here is the box. Let's just put that there. And then we get Vision Pro itself. Oh my God, man. It feels like unreal to actually touch, you know? Uh, and whatnot. So we will just take this and we will put this on the side out of the way for now while we get inside. I don't really want this video to be all about, you know, this product and, and all of that um, and the unboxing because there's so many better videos online about it. So I'm not going to do an unboxing video, but we've got this seal here, the light seal cushion. I've got to make sure that I can package all this back up. Apple are really good with returns, by the way. Like anything on Apple's website that you order, you can order something from Apple, use it for, well, two weeks, I think it is, a return period, and then you can return it. Even if you use an iPhone and you're like, you know what, I want a bigger iPhone. That's why Apple's good, and that's why they've got such good you know, good things about them. So this is the light seal, yeah, W plus, whatever that is. Don't know the difference between the two. Then we've got the polishing cloth is in there. I think this is the first product that doesn't come with a stick as it's polishing cloth. Um, I don't really need to go into all that. I can get the cloth out when I need it in a bit. And then up here, we should have more stuff. I'm gonna figure it out how to work this thing. So here's the battery pack, which we obviously need to power the thing. We've got a charging brick, which, I'm not going to need to use. And then this is another USB-C cable, which again, I don't need to use. And then we also have a different strap, which is this one, which to be honest, I'm not going to open now. I'm going to, I'll use that if I need to use it, but I'm just going to use the stock one for now. Again, because this is not something I'm going to keep, I don't want to open too many things, you know, um, and whatnot. So yeah, but that's why Apple's good. You get to use the products um, in your own environment, you know, and you know, experience it for yourself and that's what's what's good about it yeah this basically is the size of a normal regular battery pack um is it five thousand milliamp or is it three thousand milliamp i've got ten thousand milliamp hour batteries that are smaller than that so yeah you've got a plug to use vision pro you've got to plug this into that and that kind of goes in your pocket and then if you want to continue using it without being on charge you plug a USB-C into that, so, you know, yeah. Aside, and now we are getting into the actual device itself. So here it is, um, we'll just take these down. As I say, I've watched so many videos on online about this and, you know, just people in general have, well, there's so many better videos out there. So here we go. This is the weight of it. Doesn't, it's not as heavy as I thought, to be honest. I'm gonna put it on. Um, yeah, and then you tighten this here on the side, which tightens on. Oh my God, that is so satisfying. This pops off like this, which I can't now see, obviously. Oh my God. 
Oh God, that is very, very uh, unsafe. You can't hold it at that. You've got to hold it on the bits that you don't want to touch, which is the metal and whatnot. That is a satisfying thing though, pulling that in. That is wild. So let's just pull it, turn it on. There's some buttons on the top. So we're going to turn it on with this button here. I'm assuming it's the digital crown. Oh, I'm powering it on, but I unplugged it in. <laughs> oh god you need to plug the battery in the cable actually just like goes in and then turns it can turn between the two little knobs there now the lights come on and we've got an apple logo on the front that we did have that's now gone so now i'm going to put it on and see if it actually now works so there we go oh my god the sound's amazing hold to align Press and hold to align. Here we go. The speakers are unbelievable. Now I do have a bit of, I can see light here. Oh my God, I can see my desk. Oh my God. Hello is just on my desk. Press the digital crown to begin. Turn the digital crown, digital crown to scroll. So this is just a set of process. So I'm just gonna speed through this. It's basically a floating window on my desk. I'm seeing my self my room through my hands, uh, through the cameras rather. So there's an Apple logo here now. Oh no, now it's over here. Uh, bring my iPhone or iPad near. So I'll just use my iPad because obviously I'm filming on my phone. So if we unlock, so we get a Vision Pro thing pop up there. Waiting for Vision Pro. Waiting for Vision Pro. Now I've got the QR code, which Vision Pro. You know when Apple do things right and they just do things right? The actual setup is just, Okay, so now I have a tutorial video, which is unbelievable quality. Press the digital crown to set up your eyes, eyes, your eyes, your eyes and hands. Hand setup complete. <laughs> Just like that. That is unbelievable. Now select all the dots around the circle. Oh my Christ. I'm, I'm not even kidding you. I am absolutely, I am speechless. I have never used technology like this, ever. And all while this is happening, I can still see my phone, I can still see you guys on the on the vlog. Now I'm looking in basically a white environment, tapping these dots as I'm going around. The pure magic of the technology. It really is magic. Negatives I'm noticing straight away, you know you're looking through a camera. I can't really read that thing over there. Um, there's a bottle here which has like labels on it. I can't read what it says. Oh my god! <laughs> That's so weird! That is wild! And there it is, I've been... <laughs> I've just been in there for about half an hour, 25 minutes, and you can see. I'm somebody though, I probably overdid it on the tightness. I'd rather it be tighter and feel more secure on my face. Yeah. Gotta be honest though, amazing bit of technology. <sighs> mind-blowingly arguably the best piece of tech i've ever used in my life it's hard to explain you need people to use it it's it's one of them you can't you can't get a gist of, of it i've actually done that purposely on mine i set a password really easy for people to do so that i can give it to people like that know me and stuff and they can actually try it out because okay so i'm at the end of my testing with the vision pro and um i've got some thoughts on it but I want to do one more test in terms of before I actually do send it back. And that is an outside test. So yeah, I realized when I set it up, I didn't show you guys exactly what I was seeing. So I'm going to show you what I'm seeing and overlay it with this footage and we'll go from there. So yeah, so the first thing, get the cover off. There it is. Put it on. Obviously, I've got the battery with me as well, which we'll just plug over this end. So, so I've just started the recording there now. So if I press the button here on the top, it then opens the menu and as you can see it's just floating in space i can turn my head there the menu stays there it's always there if i turn my head and press the button again and then press it it recenters wherever i am looking so that's something as well pretty cool how it works my biggest criticism with it is looking at everything right now it's much darker than what it normally is and also, it's blurry. My hands look great. Like the camera, like they, they look great. If I go like that, it's quite blurry. But to a certain level, they look really good quality. Everything else just looks blurry. If I take this off, 
you know, it just looks amazing outside. And that's my biggest criticism with this device. I go into a web browser here, as you can see, it's just on the floor. As you can see, the shadow moves on the deck end. Very cool how that works. And that's my problem here. I'm sat here looking at this content and it's amazing. The quality is phenomenal. I can put it to the landscape view as well. And I can browse the web. I can make this even a bit taller. It's amazing. It is a floating window in my garden. But everything else around you is that bad quality that I know I'm looking at. You know, the quality is too good, in my opinion. They should have, in my opinion, reduced maybe the screen quality and increased the camera quality because the cameras are wor way worse quality than the actual screen quality. So you've got really good screens with really bad cameras, for instance, and they should be more aligned. Yeah, the screens are amazing. This is so crispy. If I bring it closer to me, it is like I'm looking at an iPad or like a TV screen. I can't see pixels nothing it's amazing biggest issue with it is that that's so good but the rest of it is so bad so it doesn't marry up well if that makes sense so we've got that there you've also got other different things you can do on here if you go to the environment section you can then disappear so if i i say disappear you can go to different places so if we go to the moon for instance you can see now i'm actually on the moon it half does the moon if i then twist this all the way then now I'm on a full 360 of the moon. And yeah, my content still stays there. Again, the shadow of the content is there. You can see there, my foot, my hands are actually picked up clean quite well. If I get the battery pack, it's very similar to like a phone. It doesn't, you know, it, it does do quite well in terms of recognizing that. So if we come out of this and we change this environment to, maybe we'll go to white sands. You can see it's got a very good floor all the way around again and again same type of thing if you turn this then it comes back into normal reality so we'll just put that over there for now we make it a bit smaller and i'm just going to put that over there out the way for now go into certain apps as well we've got you know we've got your messages app you've got all the different apps there that you want to test disney plus is one of the probably the best apps on here to be honest. So again, every app you can condense, you can push it far away. Do that there. I could then go across to my I got my home app. So it also does apps that are um just iPad apps. This is basically just the iPad app, you know, floating in effect. So as you can see here, I can put my iPad app here, I can scroll down, scroll up turn like lights on as you can see my lights are on now turn garden lights off you know and again i can push push that over there out of the way so that's staying over there i've got disney here i can make this bigger disney is the ones that are they do have their own environments so there is like a library of um, environments that you can test um, so the theater one's probably the best one uh, pops up with a little a way of your surroundings so don't show and now i'm i am now transported again it works exactly the same as the other one so if you push that all the way around then you get that full immersion of the theater an amazing experience you can look up i can turn around and i can see behind the seat i can move around it it's amazing this is like the best experience of vr that i've ever had um you can even go to tatooine Get all the little ear knobs and stuff there so yeah it works really really well not gonna lie there's also a disney and massive 3d library of movies which all these are 3d films i watched one or two clips of each one and they are fantastic i've got to say um yeah really really good and well worth the experience if i had this a bit longer i really would watch more movies with it but i didn't have enough time with it the eye tracking though is phenomenal so I'm just looking, you can see my eyes just moving around and certain things are highlighted. So Frozen 2 there, now got Infinity War, Moana, Star Wars. It just works. And if I'm there and I'm looking across at my, you know, my videos, my live, my playlists, community, Doom video, everything just works. And then if I look at the share button, I press that, it gives me the share option. If I just look away and tap, it just does that. 
press that, it looks at the windows. I can then, of course, tap different window, and yeah, works great. Then on the flip side, if you look over here, you can see, like, look at the bottom. There's a white bar. See how the white bar always illuminates? As soon as I pinch my fingers together then, I'm pulling that now. Here, I have this in my hand. It just works. You can even pull it closer so that it's more like an iPad in your lap kind of thing. There it is. It's, as you can see, it looks very cool. And the glass shade there, it's honestly like I could cut myself, is how it feels. But you can actually put your finger on the screen and move it. So I'm actually, as you can see, going through my home app and I'm able to just control my house how I would. So if I tap the office, it is like I'm using an iPad, which is there. So yeah, I can tap the screen there. I can tap certain devices there, like turn the fan off, for instance, in there put the fan back on done with the app close it just works so there it is there's my look at vision pro and a bit of a demo of the things you can do on there don't get me wrong it's an amazing piece of kit but i think for me the value that it brings in terms of three and a half thousand pound it's not there yet i think this thing needs to get a lot cheaper for one and i think it needs to do more I think if, if this was something you could maybe connect a keyboard and mouse to, comes with Final Cut Pro. It's got the same chip that Macs come with, and I could edit Final Cut Pro videos using this. This could be an argument of a computer replacement then. You know, I could connect my keyboard and mouse, and I could do this in VR and have like a bit of a dark room to do it in. And that's what it offers you then. It offers you those immersive experiences. And they do have a lot of immersive experiences on Apple TV+. Plus. Um, I also tried the Alicia Keys one. There's a trailer, which is pretty cool. with some sports games, football, all that, like you're in the dressing room. They are amazing. But the problem with it now is there's no content yet for there. If you were somebody who's going to buy this maybe now, you're going to, the first year, you're probably going to struggle with content. But I think if you buy this in two years' time, three years' time even, there's going to be content already there. 3D lists of movies is going to be way more you know, have much more environments, much more things to play with and look at. I think right now it is a half-baked solution. But the vision, pun the pun, the vision behind it is really good. I just think the cost needs to come down so that those masses can jump on board. So there's my video Vision Pro. Of course, it is going back tomorrow. So this was the last day to really test it and give it give it its full run through. As I say, I wish I probably watched maybe watch more movies just for myself, just to enjoy. Um, but other than that. I will say it's an amazing piece of kit. I wish I could have it, you know. Um, if I win the lottery tomorrow, I would buy it. Um, but it's one of those, you know, Apple Watch came out and I think the Apple Watch gave something new, probably in the same bracket as like iPad, you know. iPads right now don't really offer anything different that your phone doesn't do or your Mac doesn't do. And it's trying to be its own thing. Um, so I probably put it in that category in terms of it doesn't really know what its place is yet. But like I say, more content more apps and um, I think the future's bright for it to be honest but I just think the main thing is that price needs to get to at least two grand that's the, but you're half in the price there so yeah it'll be interesting to see what comes next from vision and um, vision pro and everything um, but yeah there's my time with vision pro all over uh, thanks for watching the vlog though guys stay tuned for more videos if you like what you see and, um, and of course go back and watch all the rest but yeah there we go goodbye <laughs>